Okay, so now we've added a blank board. And on this blank board, we are going to build this as the power supply board or the power module in the stack. Uh, the stack goes cap, two kicker board modules, power supply module, pulse motor module. And I can put other devices in there should I decide. I've decided to simplify the stack where it's uh, um, easier to understand. It has less components, therefore cheaper to build. Okay, here we are in a uh, Reality Labs and you're looking at the IST Mini Power Stack and um, I have actually changed my mind on this device. Uh, none of what I have built so far is going to change at all but the operation of the device is going to change and the voltage the device operates on is going to change. Uh, this is going to be a low voltage device. Excuse me, I have um, decided against uh, using the inverter with this particular model. Not that it won't work. It will actually work very well and it will actually probably blow my diodes so um, I don't want to do that. Uh, I've had extremely great results using low voltage DC with these transformers. Um, and here's a cap pack I built oh, quite some time ago. Again I think this is uh, all drawn up and posted public on overunity.com. Uh, there's six capacitors in there. They are uh, at 40 volts. So 36 volts thereabouts um, is a good working range for them, maybe 38 volts. And there's six of them. So what this is going to do, these two kicker boards, this is going to sit like this. Um, and it's going to go in here where the battery actually was going to go. I'm going to eliminate the battery out of here because um, I don't even want to use a battery for my output because I just I'm sure I can have better results using something like this. These two boards with the 120 fast recovery diodes are going to charge up these six capacitors. That's their sole purpose is to keep these things full. This is going to sit in here and each one of these I can take a feed off and recharge three car batteries or deep cycle batteries each at 36 volts plus and still have room in the cap. So I'll simply just diode off of that and you know feed it into the battery. So this could be a very good uh, battery charger for forklift batteries or ultra capacitors or whatever you want. Very very efficient way to go. Um, the other modification, since I'm going to remove the inverter board, that's the output modification for the second phase. Uh, ideally it's the third phase in this device, but in this stack it's the second phase. This now becomes powered from the ultra boost capacitor I'm going to use to power the device. The, motor, the entire stack will be powered from one capacitor, the ultra boost capacitor 2.6 volts. My motor will operate at that voltage and if it won't I'll simply add my low voltage step up converter. I may build a little bit bigger one so I can consume a little more juice so I can pump it through the system just a little, a little bit more bangy like. So uh, that will power my motor which in turn switches these with the energy in the capacitor. I'll double tap the capacitor just as a supply bank. Take another capacitor off of that to feed these through the high frequency switcher pulse DC at 2.6 volts and uh, at one and a half volts with a very dead battery almost zapped myself you know extremely well I was uh, surprised so there's definitely a lot of flyback there and uh, that's all we're doing here with this particular device in this stage right now um, so again the boost cap is going to supply the entire power stack including the power supply for that the boost cap will have a feedback into it. It will have um, the salt water cell that you can originally charge the boost cap with or you can have solar panels which I have some and uh, they can recharge the boost cap. You can fill that boost cap a number of ways. I could even put hand crank on there. I have one of them too. That you can fill it the first time and the motor generators could go back 
and all the other stuff could go back into that boost cap on top of the recovery from the pulse motor circuit. So again, now it's down to one capacitor on the input, so some capacitors on the output, and zero batteries. And uh, basically you give it a spin and, a, and away it goes. And this is all output, like I just explained, you could recharge, um, let's see, you could recharge 18 batteries there easily and have this run all the time and like I said operates 2.6 volts DC